Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Rising Hopper Progress Key theme song version. Uh, this has the Realize, as you can see here, which is the theme song for Zero One. So, not exactly sure how it's going to work, but I'm pretty psyched about it. It also comes with a CD of the song in a really cool fluorescent yellow uh, jewel case, which is actually really, really cool. Um, let's see, you... How do you open this? I'm guessing it's here somehow here we go here is the flap so we'll go ahead and pop this open this little tray falls out and then here is the progress key here is the cd so we'll go ahead and see if we can open this up i'm pretty terrible at opening oh, there seems to be some kind of pull cord we may be in luck there we go sweet it was actually pretty painless. I'm usually pretty terrible at those. So that's really cool. I like that it's a fluorescent yellow jewel case. That really works. I think that's cool. Open this up. And there you go. Realize CD. It looks like it has the normal version and the TV size. Which is basically just the truncated version that they play each episode. So let's see if I can get this out. As it slides back down. There you go. There is uh, something he has written, a little message in Japanese that I cannot read. So I guess these are the two guys. This is uh, Takanori Nishikawa and just J. And you can see on the front it's J and Takanori Nishikawa. So these are the two guys responsible for the song. And then there I guess is the lyrics. Which I also cannot read. But very cool. I love the song. So definitely excited to get it. So I can pop it onto my iTunes. Add it to my library. And I love the fluorescent yellow nature. Very, very cool. So going to put that off to the side. And then next up we'll go ahead and we'll unbox the new progress key. Alright, so we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm assuming I'm going to have to... Cut this. There you go. There was a little bit of tape there. Okay. So there you go. It's just in the box, <laughs> in bubble wrap. Not super secure, but I think it's going to be okay. Cut that. All right, so it is a DX. It's got the two buttons. Jump! Realize ability. You wanna realize, and I need to realize. Put it to the wizard. You can't do no while. You gotta go with one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I love when they have the gimmicks that play the theme songs. I'm trying to think. They've probably been doing it for a lot longer, but I think the first one that I ever got was X-Aid. I don't think Build had one because Build's gimmicks didn't play music, but uh, Geo definitely did, and that was pretty cool as well. So, box. Just kind of shows you how to use it with everything else. Pretty standard. Not too much else going on there. Uh, taking a look at the key itself, you can see it looks very similar to Rising Hopper, but says Realize has the artist. Flip it open, also says Realize with the artist over top of the robotic grasshopper. 203 is the number there. And you saw that I did pull the tab out so the batteries were included. Jump! Realize! Ability! Yeah, one more time. <laughs> That's fun. Jump! Doesn't do anything if you hold it down. But yeah, very cool. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring in the Zero One driver. All right, here we go. Jump to the sky 
returns to a rider kick. So transformation very similar to the normal rising hopper. So sound effects in the Zero One driver. Lighter did not release it. All right then. There we go. Sometimes it gets stuck on mine. In any case, uh, sound effects in the Zero One driver not really any different than the normal Rising Hopper Progress key. All right, next up we'll try the Shot Riser. So again, not really anything different with the sounds. So yeah, pretty much the same rising hopper sounds in the shot riser as well. So I'm starting to sense a pattern, but we'll try it in the force riser anyway. Yep, same sounds in there as well. Alright, here's our last chance for something different. So yeah, it's pretty much, in the very beginning it said realize ability, but that was about it. We'll turn this off. After that, it pretty much just went into the default uh, rising hopper sound effects, so nothing too exciting there either. So I still think it's a pretty cool set. I love the CD. I wanted realize on CD for a while so that I can put it on my uh, phone. 
I still have a CD-ROM drive on my computer. Yes, that's correct. Uh, but in any case, I love the fluorescent yellow jewel case. I think it's really cool. It's a bummer there's only two songs on it. I would have loved to have like one or two background music tracks thrown on there as well. But it makes sense. This is the realized set, so you're getting both versions of the song. And uh, the realized progress key is pretty cool. But really, just using it on its own is all the new functionality you're going to get when you use it with any of the drivers or the shot rise or anything like that. It's just the same rising hopper sounds. So that's a bit of a bummer. I was kind of hoping it would do a little something different, uh, but not a big deal. I still think it's cool. I definitely like having it. Anytime you can have a gimmick that plays a theme song, I'm definitely on board. So, uh, And honestly, you could buy this and not need any of the drivers or anything to get its potential out of it, which is kind of nice. So if you're someone who just really likes a theme song and you think, hey, I'll kind of just get this. It's one little tchotchke I'll have. It plays a theme song and I'll love it. Awesome. Um, it was a bit of an expensive set though, I have to be honest. I think it was like $40 before shipping, um, which seems like a lot for a CD with two songs on it and one, one gimmick toy, considering progress keys are usually somewhere in the area of $15 on their own. Uh, and the CD having only two songs, I would guess maybe 10, I'd even give it 15 tops. Uh, as far as the value there. So, you know, you're paying $40 for something that feels like it should be 30 so I don't know why that was so high. Um, so I don't know. That that might turn some people off to this set. And like I said, if you really just think, well, I'll just listen to the song online or I'll get it on Spotify or something like that. You don't need the CD and you don't need it in toy form. Then this could be an easy pass for you. But if you're someone like me who loves to have the little gimmick items play the theme song and you like the CD, then I think it's worth picking up. Even though it's a little overpriced, maybe there'll be a sale somewhere down the line. But I got this on Amazon Japan. So that's where I would probably look for this. Um, I feel like there's one other place, like maybe CD Now. Is that a thing? There's one other website I know that sells these that I, I always end up going with Amazon Japan, so I can't remember the name of the website. But um, that, that's where I would look. I'd probably check Amazon Japan. But in any case, that's going to do it for this review. <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. Please like, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.